Hello, love. Today we're going to have a spot of tea with this bloke all the way from Yorkshire. Get it? York Yorkshire Terry. Okay, guys. A um, little story about the piss poor uh, English accent at the, uh, my, on my intro. Uh, there's a reason for that. We're going to be checking out this. Uh, it's the express kettle made by Melita. Now. This is not new. This this is old. It's not like antique or vintage old, but she's had it for several years. Um, this was originally bought at uh, Target, so I think I think you can still make them, or I think you can still get them. I think they still make them. Uh, the story on this is when she when she first started in in her job several years ago, what eight years ago or whatnot. Um, she had a, a patient that uh, they had uh, they had this, okay, and they and they drank a lot of tea. Now they drank a lot of tea because they were uh, they moved here, they relocated here from England. Now I'm not sure what part of England, but she said they were a really nice couple, and they had got a new one, but they they had bought this one when they first moved here. Um, from Target. Well, they had got a new one. They gave her this one. Now, I've seen it since we've been together three years or whatnot. I've been seeing it up in, up in the cupboard. So, I told her last night, I said, I got this down. I said, I'm going to do a video on this tomorrow. And she said, uh, would you like to know the story about that? And I said, yes. Hell yes, I would like to know the story on that. So, that's the story. So, the England thing and, you know, Bruno being a, a, a Yorkshire Terrier. Uh, you know, I just threw that in there to, to make you guys laugh. So we're going we're gonna to try this out. Now, what, what you can do, there's supposed to be a filter here. And I don't know if she's got the filter or not. But there's a filter that goes inside of here. It clips down right in there. And you can put your coffee or tea directly in here. Okay? Now... Uh, there's no filter, so I'm going to be using this thing. We're going to put our tea into. You guys see it, okay? Into this thing, this strawberry thing. It opens up. I bought this for her. I gave a dollar for it in Gainesville, at, at a. Uh, uh, it was it's kind of like an indoor flea market, like a yard sale, garage sale type thing. And it was in a box of different things. And uh, she thinks it's silver, and I know there's no way it's silver. I think it's chrome, but uh, it's definitely not silver. There's no markings on it. But for a dollar, she has used it a couple times. I think she did a video on it. Uh, so check her channel out. You might find it in there. And uh, so. We're going to do that, and I'll let me get my glasses on because we're going to have a cup of tea, and we're going to be using this tea. I cannot remember where we got this. I believe we got this at um, Disney Springs, where I got the uh, moonshine at. I believe that's where this came from. She's got two packs. Uh, this is from, uh, actually from Lake Bonavista, Florida. Buena Vista. It's cranberry apple tart herbal tea, a flavorful herbal tea that is crisp and tart, containing many different fruit notes. This tea blend is handcrafted in small batches to ensure flavor and freshness. This is one ounce. I know these these uh these were pretty spice or pretty pretty pricey. So, all right, I've got I've got that. And we're going to show you how this works here in just a second. Well, I'll just leave it here. Right now, I've got four minutes on this card, so let me change my card. We're going to put some water in this, and then we'll get back at you. Okay, we're back. This has, uh, 
it has 0.5 liter that's a half a liter you got one liter you got one and a half liter and you got 1.7 liters that's max and we are perfectly I don't know if you can see that so we are perfectly on the line right there now what this does is it boils water really fast okay so we're going to get ready to do we're going to set our timer here and where is my timer okay all right so okay we've got stopwatch ready I did try this out last night when I was cleaning the inside out. It boils very, very fast. Now, what this does, here's the base. Okay, that's the base right there. And then I should have showed you the bottom, but, you know, it just sits in there like that. And you plug this in. Let's get you plugged in here. Alright, now right here... This is your lever to turn it on. Let me zoom you in just a little bit here. Okay, now this lever here, when you push this lever down, that starts it. And then you just wait. So let's start that. See the light is on. All right, we got our little teddy bear in the background there. That monkey got for me. I like to include him in some of our videos. I can already hear this and it's been 20 seconds it's already getting warm the idea on these are to um, like to put a pan of water on the stove and turn your stove on to heat up water is going to take longer and it's going to use more electricity than this so this it's already getting warm so we're going to see how long this is how long this will take to boil some water okay there's that so we're at one minute seven seconds then what we'll do, we'll put a pan of water on the stove with 1.7 liters of water in it and we'll see if that boils any faster. We'll time it. So, when that, when that starts boiling, I'll be back with you because it's already, it's already getting warm. So, that's what we'll do. We've got a cookie. This was a giant cookie, but it got broke. But, uh, this thing was almost dinner plate size, but, uh, that's pretty good. I got that at Winn Dixie yesterday for a dollar. A monkey can't have it because, now, I don't have cubes of sugar, <laughs> but that's okay, right? Because I'm probably not going to drink a whole cup, but. Wow, that's, can you hear that? Wow, that's um, getting ready. Let's get some of our herbs out here. Let me get you down here. It is almost starting to boil. It's been two and a half minutes exactly. So let's get... So that should be enough for a little cup of tea, about like that. Can you hear that? Now, okay, now once this comes to a boil, That will automatically pop up and shut off. 
so it's pretty close. So let's go ahead and keep this rolling because I want you to see that pop off there. It's been three and a half minutes exactly. Now remember this this is a lot of water so the less water you have the faster it's going to boil. So I mean right now it's already it's hot enough you can uh, you know it's probably hot enough for tea right now to steep some tea. So, now this thing will actually pop up and the light will go out. Four minutes. I think you should be able to hear this. Get you a little closer there. There we go. There's a pretty good shot. Oh yes, it's very hot. It's uh, it's starting to get the little bubbles inside there right before something boils. So we're coming up on, we're getting pretty close to five minutes now. It's 4.45. Well, four minutes and 50 seconds now. And uh, so, so far, I don't know if you can see the steam. See the steam coming out of there? So let's put you down here. I know it, it'll come to a, a very rapid boil too, and I'll show that to you here in just, well, you might be able to see it through the sides there. Like I said, that, that little lever there will pop up in the front light, the light on the front here will go out. So. We're looking at five and a half minutes. And then we'll time uh, we'll time 1.7 liters of water on the stove. So that way it'll be a comparison. Yeah, it's starting to move around a little bit if you can see in there. It's starting to get the bubbles up off the hot plate. Pretty close now. We're at six minutes exactly. And we've got the steam coming out. Okay, it's starting to boil now. So hopefully you guys will be able to see inside of here. I can feel it. If you watch real close right there, you'll see it. it's six and a half minutes exactly and this is you know clear full because this is max you don't want to go over the net go higher than that because it may boil out if you do it may boil out of the spout so you don't want that happening so we're right now we are on a boil so it's getting ready to be a rapid boil we're coming up on seven minutes which technically by now that's hot enough for any coffee or because uh, wa water boils at 212 degrees right so uh, you're not going to want your coffee or tea that hot but just in case but see it's start, starting to boil there see it? it's rapidly boiling yes that, that is a rapid boil there so it started at about let's just call it seven and a half minutes um, so but that's a that's a fast boil for seven and a half minutes okay so let's try some of this tea and then you can take that off and you can carry it around and serve it and it stays hot for a while so all right let's put this in here Now we're going to let this steep. I see some floaties in there. But 
we're going to let this steep and I'm going to put some water on to boil and I'll check the timer at that. We're at a rapid boil, 10 minutes, let's say 11 minutes, alright, so, now granted, this is on the stove, so 11 minutes came to a rapid boil, and the teapot came to a rapid boil at 7.5 minutes. Now there's our tea. There's um, very little, very little, um, I keep wanting to say coffee grounds, but it did turn out to be a red color and it smells lovely. Okay, so let's stir this up. Now you can also, you know, just put a whole tea bag in there and that'll keep that from happening. Or you could cut up a coffee filter, put it in there and it, it'll help that from happening. So let's give this a shot. Oh, nice. You can taste the apple and the cranberry. It's very good. Now I, don't, I didn't put any sugar in this. Um, because I wanted to get the flavor of the tea itself and... I'm not a tea connoisseur by any means, but a piece of tea leaf. Tea leaves, that's what. But as you can see, there's very little in the bottom of that. But I do like some tea, and uh, it's, it's very good, very good. Okay, so this thing. It gets a two thumbs up for me. Now, as you've seen, it took that, that pot of water on the stove 11 minutes to boil to come to a rapid boil like it did on this and let's say seven and a half minutes I think it was more closer to seven but let's just say seven and a half minutes to be to uh, be fair also to be fair if I would have put a lid on that pot of course it's it's going to boil faster but it's still not going to come to a rapid boil at seven and a half minutes now even if it did you got to look at the fact that this thing see it's just 210 now you want to fire up that stove that stove is going to use more wattage more watts than this thing a lot more just to boil that even if there's a way you could get it to boil at seven and a half minutes like this did you're still using more electricity more energy and that's what this is supposed to be for to keep the you know the use of energy down so this gets a two thumbs up for me and uh, the tea thing it gets two thumbs up I mean that's not bad and this tea gets a two thumbs up the cookies the cookie gets a two thumbs up so we're good to go there um, so that being said, guys, what I was going to do was I was going to make a roast outside on the fire, a pork roast. It's like a four or five pounder. But it's been raining off and on. It'll rain, it'll get everything wet, and then it dries it out pretty quick. But like right now, the sun's shining pretty good. But 20 minutes ago, it, it was raining pretty hard. So I'm probably just going to do that in the oven. But I'll still film it for you. I'll put it on Chef Shea Bear. I got some rub, some nice rub I'm gonna put on it. I know a lot of you guys will, you know, you you put a, like make some brown sugar and some salt and whatnot. But uh, with monkey sugar level being so high here lately, I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna use a rub on it. And uh, we'll have some potatoes and stuff like that. But yeah, that thing, if you, if you can pick one up, go for it. It's awesome. So. Uh, I I think I think it is it it's a lot more efficient than firing up the stove and a pot and you know and all that uh, to where and then this after it's done you can just carry it out to your guests wherever you want to go with it and it stays hot for a long time so 
Alright guys, I want to say again thanks for watching and uh, hope you had a good laugh at the, at the uh, intro. So, <laughs> uh, Bruno took off into the bedroom uh, just now, so I don't think he wants to be on camera right now. So, alright guys, again thanks for watching, appreciate it. Check out Monkey1000, check out BXX32. He's got some awesome videos. Uh, keep up the good work, Ben. Uh, love every one of your videos. So, that being said, I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone. You guys take care. So that's cool. Now, um, sorry. What this does is it boils water really fat. 